What is good YouTube? So the day is finally here. The last part of this three part series which we'll be wrapping up which is the lighting and rendering portion of the 3D shoe that we created in Blender. So if you haven't checked out the previous two videos, I want you to go back to my channel and just briefly skim through it so you can see how I went from the 2D sketch to the 3D model to a final product which is lit and looks, you know, amazing. So in this video, we will go through the texturing of each element and also the lighting of the shoe because you can texture it, you can do all that, but if the lighting of the product does not look good, it's gonna look like dookie. Okay, maybe not dookie, doo doo. Okay, maybe not doo doo, poo poo. Okay, okay, just forget that. So without further ado, let's hop right in the video. All right, guys, so welcome back to the final video, which is the third part of the three part series of what we did. First, we went through the sketching, then we moved on to the 3D modeling, then we're moving on now to the texturing and lighting. So what you see here is me just going over the basic colors, just getting the color schemes before I get into more of the details. Right here for the soles, I don't know if you ever looked at a shoe, certain type of shoes, they have this, um, this different type of rubber. And that's what I was going for, you know, it was just trial and error, trial and error until I got the look that I wanted. So right here, I'm getting closer to the desired look that I want. Now just playing, how do I want that midsole to look? So I decided I didn't really like the red too much. So further on in design, you see that I'll change it. So right here, just moving on to fixing minor issues with the shoe. You know, usually this is the time where I go through the experiment phase, which is a lot of trial and error. So during the lighting setup, all you will see me doing is playing around the size of the lighting, the location of the lighting, and also the color temperature of the lighting. So as you see here, just trying to get different angles, trying to get different lighting schemes.
now we're just messing with the light to see how we can get a better presentation so as you see here i'm playing with the temperature of the light making it warmer making it cooler mixing the two but one thing with lighting one thing you want to always make sure that you're not doing is making muddy light you also want to have some contrast when you're doing your product renders So as you see, I'm just going over a lot of experiments, a lot of iterations. Um, what I usually do is I put the groups, I make a group and I put each light setup in that group. So I have group one, group two, group three. So you know, I can always see the difference between each group and how I like the product. So right here, I just wanted to see how it would look with a color background. So I chose yellow because of the yellow logo. We're finally done with the whole sequence of this project where we took it from 2D to 3D model to lighting and texturing, rendering. What you see, the final product, I'll show you guys again. As you can say, this project was a success. I will be doing more of these videos and going more in depth. If you guys want a tutorial and not a sped up video of how I did these things, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. And also, you know, Tell me how you feel about the shoe. Is it a nicely designed shoe? Does it look like throw it in the trash? Like, let me hear your comments and opinions down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, have a blessed year.